Hi Sagittarius, this is your new moon in Leo reading for you guys. You guys, there's an astrological nightmare happening right now pretty much. This new moon in Leo, um, the wolf moon, it's already about, um, the full moons are about, it's, I said new moon, full moons are um, about releasing things that don't serve you anymore and getting rid of them. But there's also this crazy um, planetary situation happening where six planets are squaring up in a T formation in fixed energy signs, um, which is creating this just like powder keg type situation. Like if something's going to blow, it's going to blow now. Um, it's, it's like uh, the tea kettle has been put to the fire and you're just waiting, waiting for it to start screaming is what I'm getting. So you guys, I'm pulling from your Queen of the Moon Oracle. And I just want to thank you so much for subscribing and doing all that good stuff. If you haven't done that now, um, please do so. You guys have got pleasure as one of your cards. I always, whenever I see this card, I always tell people to take a look at their heart chakra and make sure there's nothing blocking that, okay? Um, you've got patience. And you've also got protection. Just a general jump. You guys, I don't read um, like normal people. I'm not going to give you keywords and uh, just read what it says on the card and say, oh, you're protection. You need to protect yourself. No, I read art and things like that, okay? They're, um, you're being asked to be patient with something. There's a situation that makes you very happy right now. I feel like you're either guarding yourself from it or somebody else is being guarded in the um, connection right now and it's causing some friction. I do see the universe asking you guys to give this some air to breathe with that patience card, um, especially at this full moon. That's the green corn moon card. It is full moon energy though. Um, it's like, you know that if you release this, like this balloon, like if she lets go of that balloon, it's, it's gone. Like you're never going to get it back. So I feel like releasing something at this time um, would not be the greatest idea. I don't ever tell people what to do, but I am seeing a need for patience before making a decision in whatever it is you're trying to make a decision with. And Sagittarius, if you guys are dealing with an Aries, please go look at that reading because I accidentally called Aries Sag in my reading for some reason. And I just your name just popped up in the reading out of nowhere. So if you're dealing with an Aries, please go check that out. I do encourage cross-watching on my channel. I'm doing a you versus them reading for you guys today where I'm going to pull four different decks today, one for each side and then one for each side to clarify. I start with the past, present, future and how people are coming towards the connection and then I'll clarify. So on one side, we've got the Ace of Swords for the past coupled with the Seven of Cups. current situation they've got the eight of wands along with the ten of wands they're having a really hard time talking about something somebody came to grips with something or some um, truth about a love situation in the past and they're having a very hard time talking about it right now we got the eight of pentacles coming up in the future along with the high priestess i do somebody uh see somebody listening to their heart, um, paying attention to the signs I'm getting. I don't know why in the future. Past coming up the connection, page of wands. This person did not take this uh, seriously is what I'm getting. Knight of Pentacles. Emperor, wow, Emperor and High Priestess coming out in the future. Bottom of the deck, Temperance. <laughs> This is y'all that you pulled the patience card and you got temperance on the bottom of the deck. Somebody needs room to breathe here is what I'm getting. Um, something needs to be aired out, but there need, it, there need, there's time in between that needs to be had before this is aired out. I'm getting, I'm going to pull the nightmare before Christmas. That was the dark mansion tarot, by the way, for this side, I'm going to use nightmare before Christmas for the other side and then clarify these for you guys. I do see somebody um, thinking about walking away from something, but it's from an, it's for an immature reason. All right, there's page energy attached to that. There's like something immature that this person is holding on to, or um, an immature energy that they're taking on right now. Um, it's, I just picture this kid like picking up their ball from the schoolyard and just leaving because they can't get their way. 
I do see somebody wanting to talk about it right now on this side, but they're having a really, really hard time coming forward. And they do not want to admit any type of fault in this situation is what I'm getting. I do see them um, growing up. <laughs> a lot of growing up in the future with that Emperor, High Priestess, and Eight of Pentacles energy. All right, what do we have for the other side? Other side for the past, we've got the Nine of Cups. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy here. Very strong person on their own, single, doing fine by themselves. Like, not really looking for love is what I'm getting on this side. We got the Wheel of Fortune in the current situation. But they've been snared in the Hierophant. They've been sucked into this connection somehow. I feel like they weren't looking for it, but it snuck up on them. They weren't meaning for it to get serious or to catch feelings I'm, I'm getting. But now they have and they feel like they're kind of stuck in this situation. We got Eight of Cups energy coming up in the future. Along with the Four of Wands. Wow. It's very conflicting. In the past, we had the Star. Current situation, we have the Hangman. Lots of Major Arcana popping out for these Nightmare cards. And the Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress showing out here, guys, in the uh, future. That's a divine matchup, okay? And we got the Three of Cups on the bottom. Three of Cups with Temperance. Um, somebody's tying up some loose ends I'm getting on this side. All right. Um... I'm going to call this the masculine side and this the feminine side. If it doesn't fit that way for you guys, Miss Elliot, flip it, switch it, reverse it, you know, change the roles. Gender does not matter in tarot. It is just as fluid as the energy. So if you're relating more to the feminine side, but you call yourself a masculine, that's your story. Okay. It's whatever resonates with you. I just use these terms to keep things straight. So the, um, <laughs> The feminine came into this connection fully healed, fully in her power. Um, I don't necessarily think she was looking for a relationship. I feel like she had just healed from one. Like she had just had her heart broken, I feel like, and she had just gotten all of her together, you know, and she is, um, she was stable, standing on her own. She was all good, you know, doing fine. There was some passionate connection that came along with this Page of Wands energy. I don't feel like it was something that either one of you were planning on taking seriously from the beginning. I don't. But um, old boy here, masculine, started catching feelings, okay? I feel like he was dating around a lot. Um, he's looking at all these other options, and he's being truthful that... Um, he's being truthful that he's got to spill the beans about his feelings for this feminine. He's having a really, really hard time saying it, all right? A really hard time. Look at this. I'm not a bitty tarot reader. I am not a tarot guide. I'm not going to say, oh, the eight of wands, it's communication coming in towards you. They want to rush in and say a whole bunch of stuff, I feel like. But it's like, it's a huge burden for them. Okay? Bringing, bringing all of these wands, which are, you know, words and communication actions, coming forward with this passionately is, um, they're, they're having a really hard time doing it for some reason. They want to. I see tons of passion here and tons of, you know, wanting to come and pursue this. But they're like having, they're being slower than molasses. Look at this horse, man, this dusty horse. They're like, they're being stingy. Like they're not wanting to admit that they have feels for this person. They really don't want to admit how they feel. It's like somebody finally nabbed this player. Like this guy was a huge player, I feel like. And somebody finally came along that he, like, can't shake. Usually, I feel like this guy has no problem, like, shaking other women or shaking other connections and getting rid of them and just not even thinking twice about it. This one, he cannot stop thinking about. Can't. Uh, can't stop thinking about it. And the feminine in the current situation is in this limbo sitch right here. She's got the hangman, the hierophant, and the wheel of fortune. Three major arcana. This was not supposed to happen. Like, there's no way that the, you know, the feminine thought she was going to catch feelings for this guy. I feel like she didn't take him seriously in the beginning. She knew he was a player. She was just having a good time. You know, she was on her own. She was cool. She was whatever. But now she's caught feelings too. Y'all have both caught feelings, both of you. Um, 
I feel like feminine does not is in hangman towards the connection. She's not wanting to um see how this person, you know, could be stable, hierophant type energy, but she can't stop thinking about him either. She's chained to this person. Like y'all, y'all caught the feels big time and now you're stuck. And I don't think either one of you really want to come forward and say it. I see it happening in the future though, that y'all are going to have this conversation. Okay. You're going to have this like, you're my queen, I'm your king conversation here. Emperor and empress coming towards the connection in the near future. That's like, that's marriage. You know what I'm saying? And then the masculine is going to start. I feel like there's a nagging voice telling him not to let this one go, not to let this one go. And he doesn't want to listen to it because he's, he's not ready to stop, you know, playing. But he cannot help it. Like he cannot quit this person. Like he can't, he can't quit it. And I feel like in the future, he's going to start listening to that inner voice with this high priestess card right here and really, really invest in this relationship with the eight of pentacles. The um, feminine is going to be sketch about it. She sees it four of wands. You know, that's my twin flame card right there. That's the marriage. This is so much marriage cards popping up for this one. Um, she, um, she's a good she's gonna bounce all right she's gonna bounce unless this person locks it down for good like it's like i need your cell phone password type shit, you know ish so she can trust him again or trust him that he's let go of all these other connections or whatever all right let me pull some clarifiers for you guys yeah that pleasure card um i feel like y'all went into this just on some casual type whatever and nobody thought it was ever going to amount to anything but look at y'all's heart chakras like they're busting out Okay, y'all like activated each other's heart chakras somehow and like made um, <laughs> made each other open up, I'm feeling like. And the protection vibe, I feel like both of y'all are being like a little guarded in this situation. Like the masculine doesn't want to admit that somebody finally like want has gotten him to want to settle down. And the feminine is worried that he's never going to settle down and that she's going to have to protect herself because she knew from the beginning that this wasn't, you know, built to last. But it seems like it is built to last is what I'm getting. But it's asking for patience. I feel like this masculine is just getting in tune with his emotions right now and coming to grips with the fact that he can't live without this person. And that is hard. He's not liking that. It's making him uncomfortable. Tower in the Fool. Yeah, man, <laughs> this is clarifying the past for the masculine. Um, he came into this like a fool, you know, with the page of wands and the fool energy. That's really immature, um, not taking stuff seriously. Just kind of like, a, well, let's see where this goes type of whatever. You know, this is fun for right now. Let's test it out. But the problem is this tower, this is not a bad tower. I don't see this as a bad tower. I see this as um, when he realized the truth of the matter about his feelings about this person, it triggered this tower moment. Like, I feel like this person was just comparing, comparing the feminine to all the other ones in his life or that he's been with. And there was nothing that could compare to this one. It shook him, shook him and threw him out of this lover's tower of, you know, going back and forth, trying to make choices about who to be with. I feel like he saw who he wanted to be with, but he ain't ready to say it. What's with this feminine energy? The star, the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles that's because this chick was pre-empress you know she shows up as the empress in the future he was right she was you know about to be wifey you got si um six of pentacles and the king of pentacles yeah you were stable on your own big time every time i get this six of pentacles energy from this deck though it's like divine timing like, y'all stumbled across each other, like, um, just at the right time. Like, this was a weird meet. Like, y'all met some weird way. If y'all just got in a relationship and met somebody in a weird kind of way, post that in the comment box. I'm getting the feeling like there was, like, some random way that y'all met. It was just out of the blue random. Not how you would normally meet people is what I'm getting. And, um, again, I don't think Feminine was, like, looking to be wifed up right now. I think she had, like, just gotten out of a connection I'm getting and that she was just gotten back on her feet and didn't want anyone coming in, like, effing with her peace is what I'm getting. So what's this Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles here? <laughs> this guy is so in his head about this. He is trying to fight his feelings so hard 
trying to fight him so hard, but he cannot. He cannot. He can't fight him. He's fighting with himself, man. This is two of swords energy. And the Rider Waite, it's like, you know, a chick with a blindfold and, you know, not being, the, not understanding the options that she should take or not wanting to pick a path. This person knows which way he wants to go. Like, he knows that he wants to come in and put in some effort. He wants to come in and put in effort. Eight of Pentacles again. That comes in the present situation and in the future. And the Page and Knight of Pentacles are here. You know, that's the starting of a stable offer. Um, like something that's committed. Something that's like leads to a home and a family. The problem is, is he's got double Ten of Wands energy. I pulled the Ten of Wands for his current situation. And I clarified it with the Ten of Wands. Dealing with these feels and saying these things. And like um, being vulnerable to this female is terrifying to this person but he's at war with himself right now okay this is not I mean, he knows which way to choose and which way he wants to go but he's trying to fight it he's trying to fight it hard i feel like he thinks his friends are gonna like make fun of him for like caking it up with some chick or something like he rolls with a club of boys or something that's um i feel like they have one of those uh i just got that cardi b message that be careful with me talking about the group text with all your little hoes um screenshot and all the pics like he i feel like him and his bros have like a group text where they talk about their conquests and he's got he's he's in this like now he's caught feelings for somebody and it's like gone against everything that he's claiming to be like out in the public and he don't want to admit it he doesn't want to admit that the player has um been <laughs> the player has fallen in love is what i'm getting and he doesn't like it What's with this hangman wheel of fortune higher fan? Yeah, this stuff turned both of y'all's worlds upside down. Like, I don't feel like y'all ever saw each other falling for each other. You don't. Son, yeah. They make you happy, though. They make you happy. Two of Pentacles, but you are not trying to be an option. You are not. What else do we have? Ace of Wands. Yeah, yeah, there's, you got two of pentacles, ace of wands, and the sun. Like, this person makes you dumb happy, all right? But you don't want to admit that either, I feel like. I still like, I still feel like feminine's flexing, trying to act like, yeah, this is just some whatever, you know, trying to act like it don't matter. Both of y'all are, I feel like, are masking your feelings a little, because feminine, you're coming at it with the hangman energy, like, you don't want to see it another way. You don't want to see that it could be stable because I don't think you believe for the life of you that this person would ever settle down. What's with this Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Emperor? They got the dang magician popping out. They got the magician, the High Priestess, and the Emperor in the future. Like, that's a major arcana of this person growing the F up, okay? The magician is usually, like, I just watched this episode of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina where they did card readings for all the characters. And, um... They, they pulled the magician for Sabrina and they referred to her boyfriend as like the handsome trickster as like some, some dude that, you know, everyone falls in love with. Like he's basically the ultimate player. Like he's, you know, got multiple girls chasing him, but he only wants one man. <sighs> he's got the sun too. I just pulled the sun for feminine in the present. Like this was the, for the future, for the masculine. He's got the sun and the magician. Clarifying the high priestess, the emperor and the eight of pentacles. Not only does he want to work on this, but like, and like, I always point out this magician, he's dipping his finger in the cup of love. He's ready to start opening up about feelings here. He's got all these other tools and he's mastered them, but the like, love looks like the most inept that he is at, you know, with all these tools. And I feel like he's, you know, learning how to use that in the future. And he is gonna like come with the sweet side with this queen of cups energy. Like, he's going to drop the guard, I feel like. He's still going to be that emperor. I feel like this guy's, like, hyper-masculine. I just get somebody that, like, goes to the gym a lot. He looks really good. He's, like, way into his appearance. He's wanted by a lot of people. But he's, um, he's... <laughs> Y'all seen each other as the emperor and the empress. Like, this may be the one, and it's freaking him out. It literally caused a tower moment in the past. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need that. I'll just go find another one. And I feel like he's tried to go find other ones, but all he can think about is this one this one and this it cannot be the one that gets away what's this empress eight of cups and four of wands with 
got the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Y'all both got Eight of Wands popping up. Like, y'all both want to talk about this. You do and you don't, I feel like. You fear speaking the truth about how you feel about each other because you're not sure if the other one feels the same way. Like, Feminine feels like she'd be ridiculous for asking this person to settle down and walk away from everything and, like, get in a stable connection with Eight of um, Cups and the Four of Wands. But um, you're speaking some serious clarity coming up, Feminine. I feel like you're going to be honest about your feelings. And I feel like when this, you know, magician emperor energy comes in with that queen of cups talking about how happy you make him, that's going to be your reaction. You're going to be like, oh my God, you feel it too? Because you're still holding a candle for this person you are. I don't think that y'all are split up. I think that y'all are like, um, still trying to play like this is casual, but we all know it ain't casual. That's what I'm getting. It ain't casual. And everyone's trying to, um come to terms with that <laughs> all right Sag that's what I've got for you guys thank you so much for liking and subscribing and doing all that good stuff for me keep that up thank you so much for getting my channel off and popping y'all have a good one love you Sag